We're learning Perikei Alocha Beis. Let's go in Pesach. Ketzad. How does one uh, transgress Chorus Chaz V'Sholem? Misha Shogar Yenenaz. So we'll go down to the Pirush. When is someone liable for Chorus if he didn't bring a Chorus in Pesach Sheni? So Misha Shogar Yenenaz. So Leik of Yerushan. If somebody was unintentionally didn't bring the first one or he was uh, uh, there were circumstances beyond his control which didn't permit him to bring the first one. So he's not Chayev Chorus on the first one. In Hazel, he could be Shani Chayev Chorus. If he was Mazel, he didn't bring in the Shani, he's Chayev Chorus. Because the Shani has its own punishment of Chorus. Hazel, he could be If he intentionally didn't bring in the first. And then he brings in the second, and even if he didn't bring the second one, even though if it was unintentional, he's liable for, for the first one. But it would seem that if he brings in the, the second one, he no longer higher cause. The Marim, of course, Mikulkis, Mikulkis explains that even though he amazed that he didn't bring in the first one, he brings in the second one, he's put uh, the Mezid Mikoris. And he cites the source in Gemorim Sochim, 93b. Racham learned, you have chorus on the first one, you have chorus on the second one, Divi Rebbe. And also, you have chorus on the first one, and you put on the second one. Hanani ben Akav, you email, says, even for the first one, he's not have chorus, only if he did not do the second one. What's the disagreement? Rebbe is of the opinion that Shani is its own festival. You have course on the second one, even if he didn't have to bring in the first one because he was uh, of circumstances. So, Nozan Soba, Nozan says Shani is a uh, fulfillment of the first one, and if he wasn't Chayev to bring the first one, he doesn't have to bring the second one. And therefore, uh, it doesn't rectify the first one because if he does the second one, since the first one was done intentionally, he's high of course on the first one. And Hanani Makavia has a midpoint that the second one is a correction, it rectifies the first one. Even if the first one was, uninten- was intentionally not brought, the second one, by bringing it, uh, rectifies the situation. And all of them learn it from the same posuk. It says in Bamidro tests, a person who is t- pure and he's not distant from Yishalayim and he did not make a korm Pesach then v'nichras. Uh, Rabbi's of the opinion he didn't do the korm Pesach he didn't do it intentionally that's why he gets chorus uh, even he's high of chorus on the second one and also it explains that this korm he didn't bring the first time that, Hashem, that the since the korm of Hashem wasn't brought in the first one he is high of course on the first one and the Makavi is of the opinion that he didn't do the Pesach on the first one that he didn't bring it in the first one and then he didn't bring in the second one, therefore he's liable on the first one chorus. But if he brings it on the second one, he's put up from chorus on the first one as well. The Gemara concludes the uh, the opinions of these three Tanoim. Therefore, if he was in, inten- intentionally didn't bring the fr- both of them, everybody says you're chayef. If he unintentionally didn't bring both of them, then he's, everyone agrees you're put up. The question is only if he was intentionally didn't bring the first one and he didn't unintentionally didn't bring the second one. According to Rabbi Ramnoson, he's Chayev uh, because since he was intentionally he didn't bring the first one, even though he's unintentionally couldn't bring the second one, he's Chayev Chorus. Because he says Pesach Sheni is to rectify Pesach Rishon from Chorus and since he was unintentionally going to bring on the secondly, and he didn't do it intentionally, he's not high of course. But if he unintentionally didn't bring in the first, and he was intentionally didn't bring in the second, according to the Rebbe, he's high. Because the second one doesn't have its own chorus. 
Rashi explains that Amnosin uh, gives chorus when he unintentionally didn't bring the second one because of the opinion that Pesach Sheni is a a Tashlumim uh, Lorishin is a makeup for the first one but it, it rectifies the first one from Chorus if he intentionally didn't bring the first one it, it does not rectify he's high of Chorus on the Rishin even when he does the second one he's put to be Chorus on the Sheni only if he unintentionally didn't bring on the first one and he intentionally didn't bring the second one Rebbe is Machma from Nelson that he definitely holds that you have for each one separately. Ram continues. Since he didn't bring the Kor Mashem on his time, and he was intentional in the first one, that he is, it would seem he's of the opinion like Rebbe, that the obligation of Kor is, is because he didn't bring in the first one. The mazet, but not because he didn't bring Pesach, a korban Pesach, on the second one. Avo, so, but however, Misha you told me over there for somebody was told me in the first one, or he was distant more than fifteen mil, approximately fifteen miles from Yerushalayim. We also saw he didn't do the first one. I'll be Shehazer B'Shening, even though he didn't bring this in the second one. He ain't a chayav chorus. He's not chayav chorus. Since in the first one he was potter from bringing, and there's no chorus. According to the Rambam, there are three levels in how a person is pushed off from Pesach to Pesach Sheni. One is if he didn't do it unintentionally, the first one, or he was circumstances caused him not to be able to do it. And then if he didn't bring the second one, he's high of chorus. But if he was unintentionally or uh, wasn't able to bring on the second one, he's part of him, course. That's the first situation. Secondly, somebody who intentionally on the first one didn't bring it, but he brought in the second one. So the second one rectifies the first one. And if he unintentionally didn't bring the second one, he's high, of course, because he did intentionally didn't bring the first one. The third instance is that he was, in the first one, he was Tome, or B'derach Rechoiko. Is then even if he intentionally didn't bring in the second one, and he's uh, he's part of Mikoris because it's only obligatory uh, for those who were in the had obligations on the first one. So the rivet questions on the Rama. Misha Shogu Yinenas Lehikri Berishon Im Hazet. Somebody who unintentionally or because of circumstances didn't bring a korban on the first Pesach. In, and in Hazid, if intentionally he didn't bring him in the second one, he's high of chorus. That's what the Rambam says. This is a, uh, the rabbit cites the Gemara we just learned about that there's a disagreement between Amnosim. Reb, this he that the Ram is only going to Rebbe. I'm not so I'm Hanania Ben Akavia disagree with him. Now, and there he writes, and there it says, Shogun Berishon, Vehezer Bishani. If he unintentionally didn't bring the first one, he was made Bishani. Rebbe Chayev Chorus. Going to Rebbe's Chayev Chorus. I'm not so I'm Hanania Ben Akavia is Poto. The Ram questions, why is the Ram, the Ravid questions, why is the Rambam? Passing like Rebbe against two others. Because the Halach is not like Rebbe except when he's against one. But when he's two, and he was against the Rebbe Nosun Abchanani Mechavia. I guess the Mishnah wants to explain what they, the, the, the Gemara says. Because the Zagimus Hanoim depends on the Posik, right? How you translate the Posik. He called Hashem like Hikriv. Cheto Yisro Yishahu. Rebbe's of the opinion that the first half of the pasuk is v'chodal v'nichrasa. It's talking about Pesach Rishon. The second half is he called Hashem like Hikriv. That is on Pesach Sheni. There's also a chorus. 
Rebbe learns, Shcheto Yisoy means cars. What well, says the Megadev? The Noso Chetoy. Rebbe is of the opinion the Megadev, me, what does the Megadev mean? So the, the Machoikis and the Gemara, I know that means that he, Hashem said a curse against Hashem. And he's, and we use the word Mavarech, he blessed Hashem, which actually means the reverse. He has to be he's punished with curse. Therefore, here too, it is chetoy uh, is uh, curse. Also, Rabbi Hanani and Akavi learned that the Pasha Megada is not talking about where he blessed Hashem, but rather he was actively involved in serving idol worship. That is no chiv of course. He was singing to it, and mavarech. It's chiv chorus. If you bless Hashem, you learn exactly from exactly a show of chetoy chetoy from Pesach that he never be chorus. Thus, the oynish of Pesach shenius it depends upon what are we talking about in parshas megadish. The Torah require is causes you to be chiv chorus. The din of megadish is found in chumash b'amidbar. It says in the Tesla of Lamed, 1530, the soul which will do with a strong hand from the citizens or from the stranger among you, he's Megadev, he's liable for chorus. Because it says, when Nikos and Nevishahim, he care about more. The Amor says, there's a disagreement as to what Megadev means. The Rechomes say, the policy doesn't come to tell, just to tell you that you're liable for a penalty of chorus when you bless Hashem. Which is the opposite, as we said before. The key is the opinion. The Megadev means that he actually served idol worship. He worshipped idols. And since the Chacham himself decreases of the opinion, like Rebbe, that Megadev is to bless Hashem, a blessing, therefore, that the limit of Rebbe is, according to the many, that they are the Chacham. And therefore, the Raman Paskins in Avodah Zorah, Kech HaChomim, that the Mavor HaZashem is Chayev Koretz, therefore we Paskins say like Rebbe, because he learns it from Megadev, that the Petr Sheni, Chetu is referring to Koretz. And Rebbe is not Das Yochet, but he's, he's basing himself on what Megadev means according to the HaChomim. I guess the Mishnah brings also the answer of Rabbi Avram and Arambam, who, who explains the, the attack of the Raven that Ram is not like Rebbe. Eich posa, oh no, the Raven asks a question how can the Ram codify the Aloha like Rebbe? The Gemara explains every one of the reasons of the Chachomim. Rebbe is of the opinion that Shani is its, is its own festival, therefore it has its own. Chorus. Another is the opinion that Cheney is the rectification of the first one. Therefore, if he was intentionally didn't bring in the first one, and he was unintentionally didn't bring by the second one, he's liable for chorus for the first one, but not the second one. But in the reverse, that he was unintentional in the first one, and he intentionally didn't bring in the second, according to Rabbi Nosen, he's part of him chorus, even on the second one. The second one is to rectify the first, and therefore, even if he intentionally didn't bring in the first one, he was unintentional in the second one, he's Porto, because he couldn't bring it. Thus, they all disagree, and none of them agree with the others. And you don't have two, because one holds the second one as a festival of its own, and the other one says, uh, you're liable if you didn't bring in the second one, if you, intentionally, if you intentionally didn't bring in the first one, the second one says, you're not liable. And therefore, that each it's a three-way uh, disagreement, and the rule is that Rebbe is against each one individually, and therefore the Allah is like Rebbe. The Kuk is answers, like the son of the Rambam, and he adds, even the Posik itself, is called Hashem Lohikah, and we are doing, that too there's a disagreement between Rebbe, Rebbe Nosa, and Hanani, and Akavya. However, Rebbe and Hanani, both of them explain the Posik, the Hikriv Vimei is talking about Pesach Sheni. Hamnosan explains that the Posik is talking about Pesach Rishon. Therefore, in the explanation of the Posik, of Hananya is like Rebbe. Therefore, the Ram Paskin is like Rebbe, because we have somebody who is also agrees with Rebbe as to what the Posik is referring to. And the Marie Kukas adds that Ram Paskin is Rebbe, 
because the Stam Mishnah is also like Rebbe. But the Ramam Kokis questions why the Ramam writes in the second halacha if he made, uh, it was intentionally didn't bring in the first one. And the second one, he did, unintentionally didn't bring it. He's high of chorus. Why should he be high of chorus? He brings the posik. According to the Ramam, the posik is talking about Bezer Shani. And, and we're talking about chorus of the first one. Why is he mentioning the posik of chorus of the second one? So the Marie Korka says that that's the way of the Rambam. To write the posik, even though that's not the true source, as he writes in Bikorm Pesach, by Pesach, the blood spilled out. And the other guy, I guess the mission says, this is a rule, the Rambam tells you what's the most logical way of explaining the posik. Seve Eimekan Etziv, Parshas Baloischo, and Shal Shubas Chacham Tzvi, and also Yochum uh, Perla, going on Yochum Perla, explains different ways why the Rambam passes like Rebbe. Now, the Shior Komal Yerushalmi says that since the Yerushalmi we find another Tano who is like Rebbe, therefore we come to the rule that our Lord is Kerebi Machavera because it's two against two, and when it's two against two, you go according to Rebbe because it's like, like one against one. And Slachem Sochem, Right, the Ram passes like Rebbe. Since the Stam Mishnah on the Sochim Tzadik Hay is brought down the Pesach is the Shabbos. Pesach Sheni is the Shabbos. That's only according to Rebbe that uh, that Pesach Sheni is its own Chag. Otherwise, it wouldn't be the Shabbos. Now, on the second uh, attack of the Rivad. But Ram says, if somebody was telling me about Erech Choyke and he didn't bring the Rishon, even though he was intentionally didn't bring the second one, he's not Chayev Kohos. Because he was supposed to, from Pesach Rishon and Akohos, Amar Avrom. So the Ravid says, Achshav Sayy says, He's saying the exact opposite of what he said. Maishno, what's the difference if he was telling me about Erech Choyke, that he said B'Sheni, that he's Potter from Kohos, he showed you an inspiration by his Abishani that he's Chayev be Chorus. So the Kesha Mishnah says that in Pirusha Mishnah is the Raman writes the answer on the Mishnah. She, these are part of the Chorus and these are Chayev be Chorus. The Tommy Vidar Chayka, the Torah said, you are part of the Chorus and therefore you push the Pesach Shani that doesn't have Chorus in it. As if, as part of a shoyge or your own desperation, so the, he has the chiyuv chorus of the first one. From what it says in the Torah regarding Tommy with the rochoyke, the denad chayev chorus, we understand that whoever wasn't the Tommy or the rochoyke and he didn't do the Pesach for whatever reason is chayev chorus, just that he can. Re- but, it's, but if he brings Pesach Shani, he's potter. Therefore, Tommy who didn't bring in the first, and he wasn't Tommy with the rochoyke. Even though he's Nana Sashok and Bishani, it's too bad. The chorus of the first one remains. His Chiv chorus, Ashalayikur Bereshin.